You have too many clothes in your closet and you need to get rid of them. Those little t-shirts from 2010 are taking up space in your closet and in your mind. Hello everybody, this is Professor Kelly Stamps. Today's Minimalism 101 lecture will be a hands-on closet clean-out. I already have my master's degree in minimalism from MIT, so I feel clutter-free. This is Kelly Stamps. I'm sorry, I'm editing, and I'm just currently laughing at myself because I just said I'm clutter-free, but I can't take my eyes off that gigantic basket of crap in the background. Just to clarify, I am moving, so that's why there's stuff all over my floor right now. Anyway, ignore that. Please keep watching, and I hope you're having a wonderful time. I've already got this, but... I've received a lot of free clothes lately from sponsored YouTube videos, so it's time for me to do another re-evaluation. So class, why am I making this video? Yep, you in the back? Yes, that too, because I want to entertain you in quarantine. But I'm making this video because 2020 is clearly trash and we need to do our best to take out the garbage, whether it's your toxic friends or your ex. In this case, we're going to dump some excess clothes. I will show you my full decision making process while doing my closet clean out. I will be organizing everything that I took out and I will be distributing them into three different piles. The Poshmark pile where I will resell them for some money, the shelter pile where I will take it directly to a homeless shelter, or the pile that will go to friends. My one friend, I mean. Let's get started. <music> My approach is very different from a lot of YouTubers. If you type in the video closet clean out, they're doing the, the con Mari method. Well, this is the con stamps method. I like to rip it off, rip the bandaid off, feel the pain. You have to be honest with yourself. Look yourself in the mirror. I am an American citizen. I am spoiled. I have everything I need so I can get rid of my clothes. It's not that serious. Some people don't even have running water and you're complaining because that's your favorite sweater. I'm not telling you to get rid of things you love. I'm telling you to get rid of things that you love, but you don't need. Before I begin, let me tell you what I want out of this closet clean out. In terms of color scheme, I want to just have black, white, and beige. In terms of style, what I'm looking for is Miu Miu meets Chanel. If they had a one night stand from Tinder. Miu Miu was the guy, he was like, hey, I'm not really into a relationship, you know? And the girl was like, yeah, same. But you know, she doesn't really mean that. She wants marriage and kids. She already has a wedding dress picked out, but she's trying to be the cool girl, you know? So the result is a baby. This is the baby. I want the baby to be very Blair Waldorf. Think a more modern take on Blair Waldorf. Does it match my color scheme? White, black, or nude? Yes. Is it very Blair Waldorf though? Is it very Chanel Oberlin? No, therefore, it is going into the pile. Which pile though? Poshmark pile, homeless shelter pile, or give it to that one friend? I'm gonna put this in the, let's go to the shelter pile. I will do a separate video on how I make money on Poshmark because I actually make, I'd say like $300 a month on Poshmark because I'm an expert, senpai, again, at selling. This is a lace top from Reformation. Very, very expensive. This is old, but it is gold. It's not very Blair. It's not really Chanel Overland either, but wearing this with a cute pair of like long black trousers or a skirt and you know, this can become the Miu Miu Chanel love child that I mentioned. So we're gonna keep this. Also, this is what I would call a good party top. Now, sidebar ladies and gents, you need a party top and a yardy top in your wardrobe. A party top like this one you saw is something that you wear to a party it's cute, it shows a little bit of skin, but it's not overly sexy. This, on the other hand, this is a yardy top. This just screams, I have definitely engaged in coitus. So this stays. Next, we have a plain silk shirt. I think every woman needs a plain silk shirt. This is something that I used to wear at work pre-quarantine, so this is a perfect top. It's not going anywhere. This is a big, fluffy, fuzzy cardigan I just got sent from Princess Polly. I hope they're not watching. I love this cardigan. I love it. It is wonderful, it is very well made, and it feels soft. Here's the thing though, I don't need it. Rip the band-aid off. I'll give it to a friend. This will be the friend pile because this is 
very new and I haven't actually worn it. All right, another piece. This is a bell sleeve cardigan. Now, I love this. This is also something I just got, but it's not a timeless piece. This is a trendy piece. I don't need this, even though it does match the color scheme. I just can't see Kate Middleton wearing this, for example. Just got these two items from YesStyle. What did I say about YesStyle in my last video? I love YesStyle. Anything from YesStyle is not going anywhere because they make fabulous, plain, minimalistic pieces. These are high quality items that are made based in Seoul. So this is not going anywhere. And besides, isn't this cute how it is a cardigan and then it has this underneath? And here's why it's very Blair, because you saw me wear this in a past video. You can tie this over the neck and I'm all about that. I went to boarding school. My parents gave me a small loan of $5 billion look. Also, I just ordered this in black from YesStyle. Mini skirt, does it check the boxes? Yes, it goes perfectly with this. Again, we love a monochromatic moment. Plain bodysuit from the original American Apparel. It's aging like Keanu Reeves. It just gets better and better. Okay, keeper. Ooh, I just got this from Zaffle. Oh, it's so pretty. Does it check the color boxes? Yes. But do I need it? Do I need it? I'm not sure. So I'm gonna put this to the stay tuned section. All right, we have a white pair of jeans here. Denim's great. It's just that I want to dress more first lady like. So I'm gonna let go of these. I'm gonna give it to the shelter pile. Also my problem with these is that they fit okay. They don't fit well. They don't make my butt look. And as somebody who is skinty, skinny, but skinty. So you have to add in the T when you're tall and skinny. So skinty, I can't afford to wear things like this. You know, I didn't know how to really shop for my body type until recently. These are the boy fit. So these look good on girls who are shorter with more curves. It just fits them better. This just doesn't do anything good for my body. It's just okay. But 2020, we're not compromising anymore. You know, I think I have a lovely figure and I need to dress more accordingly. Just got this from Zaffle. I feel like I just saw this top. So this is just gonna automatically go to the no pile. It does match the color scheme, but it's very milk matey. It's very like, I don't know, little Bo Peep, but she has an OnlyFans account. This is gonna go to the shelter pile. All right, so I also have some items that are folded up, which you can't see. This is this cashmere crew from Everlane. It's super soft. I got it in winter time. I think this is a good basic essential item to have. And so this is staying. I just need to hang it up now because it deserves a spot in the wardrobe. Now I also have the same cardigan. It's just short sleeve and this is in the color camel. I already have a beige colored cardigan and this is they're not the same, but they're kind of similar. You're probably thinking, well, between the two, it's better to keep the more expensive item, but not necessarily because if I already have one cashmere sweater, I don't need to. Also, this has great reselling value. So this was $98. I would sell this at 35. And Poshmark takes a small percentage. I'll probably make $28 off of it. Hey everybody, this is Kelly Stamps, your voice in the sky. I am Realizing this video is way too long. Hello, I'm currently editing. So cool. YouTubeception. So, <laughs> hello future. It was a nice day today. I hope it is today, currently uploading this. I got rid of all of my black basics from Reformation because they can be sold on Poshmark for money and I can use that money to go buy soft pretzels. I also decided to choose between these two coats. I went with the more Jackie O looking one because I think it's more stylish, despite the fact that black goes with everything. But you know what? I don't go with everything because I'm unique, special, and I'm a fashionable princess and I'll work it out in winter time. I also chose between the two leg prisons. Do I keep the black ones or the blue ones? I decided to keep the blue leg prisons because they're just kind of cool. But I'll probably get rid of them soon. Along with this black dress, which you just saw, just got rid of it also. And this little set, it's cute, but it looks kind of like JLo made in Manhattan. I'm not really feeling it. This polka dot dress, eh. Purple skirt from American Apparel, very cute, but just not my style, like I just said. Whew, and I'm done. That was tiring. Well, I am pretty tired. My bangs are looking crazy. I'm just gonna go ahead and part them open because that's just, that's just not a look. I'm very confident in the decisions that I made. If I have to think about it, I probably don't need it. But I'm still going to give this a fresh set of eyes in the morning. I do have a big pile of clothes over there and 
maybe I want to sift around through the piles one more time just to make sure that I actually want to sell certain things that I want to give certain things away. Also, given what's currently happening in the world, nobody's probably trying to buy anything on Poshmark, receiving packages from people who are touching and breathing all over it. So most of these things I will just drop off at a shelter. But anyway, good night class. I will see you tomorrow. Come prepared with a pen and paper. Hello and good morning students. It is the next day. I hope you got adequate sleep because there's gonna be a final exam. Just kidding. No exams. I bet you're already stressed out with school and quarantine. That must be a mess. Yikes. I had enough sleep to sit on my decisions and I'm pretty confident with what I pulled out, but I still wanna pull more out of this. So class, do you remember the cashmere crew sweater that I was discussing? How I said, this is a staple in everybody's closet. You must have a cashmere sweater. <sighs> I wore this and I just remembered, it makes me too hot. This feels like a furnace and that's great, but I would rather just layer items in winter instead of having this cashmere sweater. It also, I think I said it was 98 or $100. I can resell this. It still has very good quality. There's no um, pilling. I believe that's what it's called when there's like little bowls. So I'm actually going to add this to the selling pile. And there also was the wild card section. This top, very cute again, very cute, but I have to go back to the general theme. Expensive looking, mew mew, boarding, school, almost a little bit clueless, a little bit of share. Wood, massy block from the click books. Wear this. This is more like for love and lemons. It's very cute. It just doesn't have a place in my closet. This is going to go to the friend pile. I know a friend who would really like this top. Sacrificial lamb, number three. This is my silk shirt from Everlane. This is if you're looking for more of a capsule basic type of wardrobe simple clean cut the thing is my style has changed it was very simple clean cut like muji head to toe like muji draws muji socks muji shirt this is a bit too techy intern for me this is very pretty i think it was 125 dollars this has excellent resale value perfect example of something where I wore it, got good use out of it, didn't wear it too much, and somebody else would really appreciate this top. It's beautiful, and I took great care of it. I just don't need it. I love it, but I just don't need it. This is something that I wore very often to work. I have to be honest with you though, Stampede. At the time of recording this, hello, I have 100 something, that I think like 109,000 subscribers. I'm probably not gonna go back to working full time. I just, I have to be upfront with you. It's just, I'm still going to pursue other things, of course. YouTube is not going to be my sole source of income. However, it's kind of silly to go back to punishing myself, dealing with people again, and the overall stress of office culture. When I set my own schedule and create fun videos and people watch them. So I'm just gonna, I'm chinning. I'm gonna enjoy this gravy train while it lasts and take care of myself. Just stay home and start some businesses. This lovely American Apparel Ponte midi dress. It's fitted and it has a slit in the back here. It's so sexy. It looks good on everybody. And this is a size extra small. I can definitely sell this and make money on it. All right, so let's assess what I've done. But class, you're not done yet. Before I end this video, I hope you aren't sleeping yet because I feel like I'm going to sleep. This is taking a very long time. We need to discuss shoes. We're gonna use the Tiffany Pollard, AKA New York method of elimination. Good morning, good morning, good morning. You can choke. This is my go-to evening shoe for when, you know, Michael Fassbender takes me out to dinner. These are beautiful, well-made, they're black, so obviously they're staying in my closet forever. And here's the second pair of shoes that I'm definitely keeping because I think a good sandal is a necessary. I would prefer to have wedges, but I don't have any. These are super comfortable, and again, I'm clearly a fan of the block heel. What size are these? These are a 39 and a half, but they fit more like 
a size eight. Generally, I don't like logos on things, but this was my first luxury shoe, so I went all out. I was like, you know what? Let's let the whole world know that I am Kelly Stamps. The whole package. Here are my lovely slingbacks. These are not Chanel. These are Channel. These are some knockoffs from CaitlinPanShoes.com. I really like that website. These slingbacks feel just like the real thing. The only difference is that they are not Chanel number no. five. They are Channel 15, PBS Kids, Caillou. Kind of granny-like. They're elegant, but I just got a new pair of elegant shoes, which I will show you in a second. So these, I think I'm gonna give to Goodwill. I don't think I really need to explain why I'm getting rid of these. They're just disgusting. I've worn them for way too long. These are from Muji. I love them to pieces. They are so comfortable. They're way more comfortable than Converse and they're only $40, but they need to go. They just need to go. And last but not least, my last pair of shoes. What on earth? These ugly hiking shoes. I went to Idaho, did some hiking. These were fabulous for my high intensity hiking and going to the hot spring and crawling through the jungle and Jumanji, but girl, do you see Jumanji anywhere? No, I, mm -mm. I did that once. I did it once and that's when I was dating some like hippie outdoorsy guy. I ain't got, uh -uh, I ain't, mm -mm. No, just no. There's somebody out there in Santa Monica who will go to the Goodwill here and be happy that they found those. It's just not me. So the point of this video is to encourage you, of course, to get rid of old things, to make room for the new. So this is the new. Got myself some new shoes. These are beautiful Mary Janes from this brand which I discovered on Instagram called Jonak Paris. They make high ends, like all leather handmade shoes. I just think this will be perfect with my little Chanel Coco set or with ugh, this coat. Yeah, so these are beautiful, amazing. I believe they were $150. It's the closest thing I can get right now to the Miu Miu platform Mary Janes. I think this is a cute, affordable option for building a nice, very Parisian wardrobe. I am very pleased with my results and Hopefully I've inspired you to get rid of some things in your closet because I feel really good right now. I just have to go donate those piles of clothes, which will be a little bit of a process, but it's worth it. Bye. Thank you for watching class and do your homework. Goodbye.